So in the last section, we saw that we can interact with Python or R through a command line interface or shell, but that's kind of irritating because it's uh, not really easy to tell what's going on. So we're gonna look at a more convenient way to interact with the coding environment by using what's known as an integrated development environment or an IDE. So an integrated development environment is a graphical user interface that we can use for developing code. So it's going to have buttons, it's going to have windows and things like that that make it easier for us to tell what's going on. At its most basic level, an IDE is going to include a code editor and also a shell. And these are usually in two different panes uh, in the window. And an IDE can be fancier than that though, and it can include other things such as tools for um, telling what's going on in the environment, um, uh, things to help you with, the with formatting of your code and checking that you're using correct syntax. And often they'll have some way for debugging the code as you're working with it. And then finally, uh, something that we're gonna talk more about later, a package manager is a common feature of an IDE. So um, we're going to start by looking at a very simple IDE called Thani, which is a way for uh, developing Python code. And then after that, we'll look at some more complex IDEs. So I'll just bring up Thani here. And you can see that Thani has several different panes. Um, and the two that we care about right now is the top pane here, which is a code editor. And so you can see it has some of the features we saw earlier in a code editor of things like making different kinds of code um, being highlighted in different colors. Also helps me keep track of opened and closed parentheses by highlighting them in the same color. So the top part is a code editor and the bottom part is a shell. So you see that I have this uh, triple greater than sign, which is what we saw when we were, when we were running shell uh, from a console window. So this is essentially like a built-in console window right inside the IDE. And I can use it just like I used before. So I could say uh, x equals five, and I can ask what is x? and it'll tell me. So it works exactly like what I saw when I was running the terminal application. But it's more convenient if you use this together with the code editor. So the script that I have at the top here is like a kind of dumb little script. It sets the values of a couple variables, and then it asks me what is z, and then uh, it prints some things out and does a little if statement check. So if I want to actually run this code, instead of having to save it in a file and then remember what the file name is, there's a simply a little play button here. And if I click on the play button, it will run the script down below. So it has assigned the values of the two variables. Now it's asking me, what is Z? So I'm going to go ahead and say Z is seven. And so it printed the value of X, it printed the value of Y, and since Z is not equal to five, it printed something else. If I wanna run the script again, I just click the play button again. This time, let's say Z is equal to five, and it says, oh, something else. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, oh yeah, I know why it did that, because it is five as a string which we will talk about later. Okay, if I want to uh, change the code, it's very easy. I can just go up to the code editor so I see what the problem was with my code. I'm just gonna change a little bit of the code here. And then when I click run, let's see if I type Z, if I type five, It says it does a different thing according to what my code was there. 
So you can see that that using an IDE is is more convenient than just uh, interacting one line at a time with your code as you have to do if you interact strictly through the shell. You do some editing, you run the code, you do some more editing, you run the code, and eventually you develop and debug the code until it satisfies you. And then you can save it and just run it as a standalone script later if you want, or you could run it in the IDE if that's what you prefer.